Today we're going to be performing the pressure vacuum breaker assembly test with the Mako MK5 5 valve test kit. The first thing we have to do is remove the air inlet valve canopy. Then flush test cock number one. And flush test cock number two. Attach a bleed off valve arrangement or compensation valve to test cock number one. Connect our high side hose from the MK5 to test cock number two. Press and hold the power button to power the unit on. Toggle the backlight if you desire. Clear any saved entries by holding down the back button. Verify that all the MK5 valves are closed. Open test cock number two. Open the high bleed valve to expel any air that may be trapped in our hose or in our gauge. Close the high side bleed valve. Close shutoff valve number two. Using the rate of change graph as our reference, elevate the MK5 so that the rate of change graph is level with the air inlet valve. Close shutoff valve number one. Position your thumb over the capture button to get ready. Slowly open the high side bleed valve no more than a quarter turn. Because you can capture a reading on the Mako without looking at the display of the gauge, you can keep your eyes squarely on the air inlet valve and press the capture button, ensuring you capture the reading the moment the valve opens. Close the high side bleed valve. and remove the hose from test cock number two. We'll let the water fully drain from the body. Once water has stopped flowing, observe that the air inlet valve has fully opened and record that it has fully opened. Close test cock number two. Then open shutoff valve number one. Next, we'll connect the high side hose from the MK5 to the bleed off valve arrangement on test cock number one. Slowly open test cock number one. Open the high side bleed valve again to expel any air that may be in the hose. Then close the high side bleed valve. Now position the MK5's rate of change graph to be level with test cock number two. Close shutoff valve number one. Open test cock number two. Once water has stopped draining from test cock number two, and the reading on the gauge is stable, press the capture button. And now you have the pressure differential across the check valve. Close all test cocks. Slowly open shutoff valve number one and open shutoff valve number two. Remove all test equipment from the assembly. Replace the air inlet valve canopy. 
And as always, test more backflows with Mako.